ready to get started live streaming, but not quite sure where to begin. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through my recommendations for a beginning live stream setup. Let's dive in. Hello everyone, my name is Nick Polkowski and on this channel we cover all things videography and live streaming in order to help you grow your business. And live streaming right now is a great way to drive more traffic and to, and to increase sales for your business right now. And on this video, I wanna to talk to you all about my basic setup for getting started with live streaming. We're gonna go budget friendly, we're gonna go super easy and super simple and cover everything from cameras to audio to software in order to get you started uh, right now so you don't have to wait. Now you can get started live streaming from your phone. And if that's where you are, great get started right now. I'd rather have you start right now from your phone than wait several weeks until uh, you get that perfect equipment uh, in order to get started. But if you're ready to get up to that next level right now, th then you're gonna wanna look at live streaming from your laptop or your desktop computer. And in order to improve the quality, in order to get it to that little bit more professional quality live stream that I think you want to really represent your business by. And so as we're talking about that setup, you're gonna wanna think about upgrading your cameras because many computers have built-in webcams. Oftentimes though, they're not very high quality. So you're gonna wanna look to get a second web, uh, get a webcam that you can plug into your computer, a USB powered webcam. My favorite one is the Logitech C920. That's a great webcam that's uh, gonna give you nice quality visuals and really uh, take your, your live stream up that next notch and just be a little bit more professional. If you happen to have a DSLR camera lying around, I also have some videos talking about how you can use that camera as your webcam instead to even increase the quality a little bit more. So be sure to check the description for those videos to see how you can repurpose a DSLR or mirrorless camera as your webcam. The next thing you wanna think about is your audio. Audio is critical. Honestly, I, I would even go as high as say that audio is probably more important than your video when it comes to live streaming. You wanna be sure that people can hear you and you sound really crisp and clear. So you're gonna to wanna to make an investment in some sort of USB microphone or a, a uh, interface that is going to allow you to plug a microphone into your computer. You're not gonna wanna use the microphone built into your computer, especially if you're looking to repurpose this content in some way, shape, or form afterwards, whether it's putting the recorded video up on YouTube or breaking it out into smaller pieces of content or even putting it out on a podcast. You're going to want to have higher quality audio than what you're gonna get from that built-in computer. That's why I recommend at least, at the very minimum, try to use uh, some of your iPhone's headphones with the little mic on it, or maybe AirPods with the mic on it. That's gonna get, get you a little bit better quality sound. But to really where you should be spending probably your first money, honestly, even before your webcam, is in a USB microphone or some other interface that's gonna allow you to plug in a microphone. I really like the ATR 2100X. That's gonna be one that's gonna allow you to plug directly into the computer. It also has an XLR adapter or an XLR input, which is going to allow you a little bit more flexibility as you grow, as you look to maybe change and adjust your setups in the future. Or if you already have a nice quality microphone, one with say um, an XLR input, you can also look to get something like the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, which is going to allow you to plug your XLR cable into that, and then you're gonna be able to plug that into your computer so that you can bring in all that quality from those high, all that audio from that high quality microphone into your computer direct. Okay, so we talked about audio and video. Those are kind of the two big things. The next thing you're going to want to think about is the software that you use to get your live stream out into the world. Now you can directly go to Facebook and go live or go to YouTube and go live uh, and just interface right with their platforms. Um, but if you wanna start adding some other elements like bringing a guest on or adding lower thirds or other graphics, countdown timer, music, screen shares, things like that, you're going to need to have some sort of third-party software. Now, I recommend two softwares. Uh, the first one is going to be Ecamm Live. That's gonna be for Macs. If you have a Mac, definitely recommend checking out Ecamm Live. 
that's gonna be a great software that's gonna allow you to do a lot of really cool things. Now I do have an entire tutorial on Ecamm uh, coming out here soon in the near future, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and even turn on notifications so you don't miss that entire tutorial. It's gonna be a complete walkthrough of how to use and set up uh, Ecamm in order to run your live streams at a very professional level. So if you have a Mac, like I said, definitely recommend Ecamm. Otherwise, if you have a P PC, my favorite is vMix. Both of those softwares are gonna be linked in the description below, and I have several other videos that walk you through how to set up and how to interface with those and get those to work uh, in, in, uh, in tandem with Facebook or with YouTube. So be sure to check the descriptions for more videos on that. And that's really everything you need to get started and, and have a really basic, easy setup for your live streams that's gonna help you look more professional and really start to get the word out there about your business and start to grow an audience here on Facebook or on YouTube with live streaming. I think live streaming is gonna be a huge thing here. More and more people are jumping on and really seeing the value in it. So you're gonna to wanna to get started now. And one big tip for you when planning out your live streams, you're going to wanna do just that, is to actually sit down and plan out what your stream is gonna look like. Figure out what the show flow is gonna be, uh, put some bullet points together and think about how you're gonna transition or what points you're gonna talk about at what points and when you're gonna pause for engagement. Really spend some time doing your research and thinking about, okay, this is the structure I want for my episode, for my stream. Uh, and when you do that, you're gonna be much more successful and you're gonna be able to engage with your audience and create just a better, higher quality stream that's gonna get more people vi viewing and interacting with. And if you're looking to go to even that next level or get some help in planning out your live stream, I highly recommend you check out uh, my mini course where we talk about how to get started live streaming, talk about everything from show design and kind of concept and strategy through what gear you need, a little more in depth into the gear, and then even talking a lot about how to structure those shows in a more specific way, and then what you can do with your show kind of after the fact and how you can repurpose it and reuse it down the road. You can check out that by going to nickpolkuski.com slash get started. And so I wanna know, have you gone live yet? And if you have, which platform do you prefer? Do you like to go live on Facebook or YouTube or even Instagram? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to tell me what your favorite thing about live streaming is. And thank you so much for tuning in. Good luck with your live streams. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we're releasing new videos every single week. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.